Let's start off with one of The Ordinary's bestseller, which is Buffet. It's a peptide serum and it's called the Buffet because it's able to target multiple skin concerns. So anywhere from anti-aging to hydration, evening out skin tone, maintaining skin health, just about anything that you can think of, this one can do. That's what inspired this product name. And this product is great for all skin types because it's not oily, it's not greasy. So for anybody with oily skin, you're not gonna feel like greasy and heavy. And for dry skin individuals, it's gonna add that extra moisture boost because I have dry skin and I like to layer serums, especially ones that feel really refreshing like this because it has a light gel texture. It just adds that nice to the skin, you know? Um, and of course, if you have normal to combination skin, you're like in between, then this will be great for you as well. So the buffet is silicone-free, alcohol-free, nut-free, and it's vegan. And I really like that it's silicone-free because when I layer different products on top, it's not gonna ball up. So let me just show you what it looks like. Just pat it in. It's got that nice refreshing feeling. It just absorbs right away. And of course it's alcohol-free, which is great because anything with alcohol in it tends to be drying and this is not drying at all. Um, nut-free, great for anybody with nut allergies. You can use this. The next product is niacinamide 10% and zinc 1%. So niacinamide is vitamin B3 and what it does is it helps with reducing blemishes and also skin congestion. It's really great. I've seen great results with this product. I love to use this especially the week leading up to ant flow because um, if I were to break out, that's usually the week where my skin acts up and it's just like playing games on me. But um, I noticed that the past couple months I've been using niacinamide and it's just been really clear. Like, of course I still get breakouts here and there sometimes, but less of it. So I really do think this has um, a lot to do with that. So oily skin friends, you're gonna like niacinamide because it regulates sebum production in the skin. And that means it will make your skin a little less oily, which in turn, can um, reduce the chance of breakouts. And if you do have breakouts, blemishes already, zinc and vitamin B3 can help with reducing redness and a blemish. So that's really great. And I do find that this product helps with just evening at your skin tone, give you more of a clear complexion. So this product I would recommend for all skin types. It's a light gel texture. It's really easy to layer with other serums. The only thing is don't mix it with vitamin C, like pure vitamin C, l ascorbic acid. So this niacinamide product is silicone-free, alcohol-free, nut-free, oil-free, and it's vegan. The next product is 100% plant-derived squalene. Squalene is found naturally in the skin. Great for all skin types, I would say, especially for anybody with dry skin or you just need that extra oomph of moisture. As you know, the warmer months are approaching, I am looking for something a little lighter, which this product is great because it's a lightweight oil. It doesn't feel as heavy and greasy as some of the oils you find out there in the market. This product is also great for anybody with oily skin if you have like dehydrated oily skin or you will live in a really dry climate or if you're somebody who actually enjoys oil treatments at bedtime. But this will give your skin the proper hydration your skin needs. So let's say that you have oily skin, it's not a bad thing to apply a lightweight oil on top because when your skin knows that, oh, um, I'm properly hydrated, then it won't overproduce sebum. And in turn, it's going to reduce the chance of breakouts. So the squalene is silicone-free, alcohol-free, nut-free, vegan, and gluten-free. And you can apply this to your hair for heat protection. If you use heat hot tool products, um, it will add shine to your hair, but make sure you don't apply it to close to your roots because it will make your hair look oily just towards the ends and also it'll prevent breakage as well. So you can apply this to your skin and your hair, much like argan oil. Next product is a 100% organic cold press rose hip seed oil. I use this pretty much every night during the winter time. It's kept my skin happy, hydrated, glowy. It reduces signs of photo aging. So I'm like, I'm all about this rose hip seed oil these days. <laughs> dry skin individuals, during the dry months, you will love this. Um, oily skin individuals, maybe depending on how you feel about oils because this is a heavier oil. If you're looking for a good moisturizer, go for like a gel type moisturizer as opposed to a heavy oil. 
Um, a gel type moisturizer, the Ordinary does not have one yet. I mean, you can really just layer different serums and that's maybe moisturizing enough for oily skin. But let's say that you're like me, you want a moisturizer to seal in everything because that's how I am. Like I layer a bunch of serums and I have to use some kind of moisturizer to be like, kind of like saran wrap it, you know? Um, then I would recommend a gel type and I'll leave like all the names and links down below for you guys in the description box so you can go check it out um, and also leave like two other recommendations for gel type moisturizers one of them being like Laneige um, it's not moisturizing enough for my dry skin but it's great for oily skin individuals they always rave about it so Laneige and also Mizan also makes a really nice and comfortable gel moisturizer the rosehip seed oil is alcohol free, silicone free, nut free, and it's vegan. And then we have NMF, which is natural moisturizing factors with hyaluronic acid. So this is the Ordinary's only moisturizing cream at this point so far. So this, when I first used it, I was like, holy cow, it's thick. And then as soon as I applied it, I was like, holy cow, it melts. <laughs> so I was pretty like, ooh. This, it comes out so thick and I was just like, whoa. Um, but as soon as it touches your skin and you just like, just one pat, it like pretty much melts right in. So the NMF contains amino acids, hyaluronic acids, ceramides, glycerin, just to name a few goodies in here. It's a really affordable moisturizer for quite a bit of goodies that you get, like really good ingredients. I wouldn't say this is like the most spectacular moisturizer I've tried. Um, but it's definitely a great one for the price and if you're looking for just a moisturizer that promises to moisturize um, normal skin slash dry skin individuals I can see you liking this product oily skin again this might be a little too much for you depending if you prefer cream or gel type thing so there are two more products I want to mention and the ordinary does carry them it's just I don't have them with me and here's why so the first one Hyaluronic acid, it's great for moisture and hydration. Um, but look, I have so many hyaluronic acids already. And that's why I'm not in a rush to get the ordinary hyaluronic acid because in the end, hyaluronic acid is hyaluronic acid. And I feel like they pretty much do the same thing. <laughs> um, here I have like, look at this bottle, right? It's gonna take me years to finish these up. I would say all skin types really because hyaluronic acid is not greasy it's it has a really nice either um, like a light gel to gel texture the next product i want to mention is salicylic acid and it's great for spot treatments and also if you just want to chemical exfoliate so again i'm not in a rush to get the ordinary salicylic acid because i do have uh, my own bhas at home so this is the close rx one i just use let's say a little pump of this and i put it on my breakout and it the next day, half the size. Except salicylic acid can be quite drying, so if you have dry skin, um, try not to use too much too often. I would say to spot treat, just apply maybe like twice a day and that's it, but don't overdo it because it is drying. Um, if you put too much, it might cause peeling and things like that because it is a chemical exfoliant after all. And after you apply the salicylic acid, salicylic acid, <laughs> And after you apply the salicylic acid, uh, let it sit and absorb for 15-30 minutes if you have time. If not, then go right ahead and do your other skincare steps. But if you have time, I usually leave that spot. Just let it sit, absorb, do its thing, and then I apply moisturizer on top. So those are the products I want to cover in this video. If you are not subscribed already, I'd love for you to join our skincare family. Um, I make skincare videos, anything from like skin health, skin concerns, skincare product reviews and I'll see you very soon in the next video.